I went down there and looked at him. Nice. Woo -hoo. Nice. Very good. Nice. Nice. We will take that. There we go, baby. <laughs> Let's talk tuna fish. Tuna fish can be used in many ways to catch salmon. We're gonna cover some simple tuna concoctions for stuffing inside rotating lures and wrapping on plugs. My first concoction, I take a chicken of the sea in oil, the cheap stuff, the good stuff, and I'm gonna open this can up, and this is going to be my, what I like to call my Springer Special. It's more of a wet, oily concoction. It's not real grainy. Open that can up, and let's drain all that oil off. You know, just like you were making a sandwich. Drain it all off down here in a little tub. All right, so now that we've drained that off, Let's take this can, open it up, stick that tuna down here in a nice tub. This concoction takes one tablespoon of sea salt, one tablespoon per can. This takes a uh, one tablespoon of the Graybill salmon formula. And one tablespoon of the uh, sand shrimp formula. This is a very simple concoction. Mix this up. And then let sit overnight in your refrigerator. This is a very good concoction for stuffing inside of rotating lures. It also works very well making into tuna balls. It's uh, what I kind of call my Springer specialty. It's a simple concoction that they seem to like year in and year out. Concoction number two starts with the same thing. Your chicken of the sea in oil. This is gonna be a dry concoction. This one's gonna be more grainy. This, uh, this one tends to work very well in the fall time for fall Chinook. And, uh, and also, also for the summer Chinook in the upper Columbia. We're going to drain the oil off just like before. There we go. Dump it in your can. Now this one, we're gonna use our can as our measuring tool. This requires a lot more salt. We find that Chinook especially, and Coho, tend to really crave salt later as they get in their cycle and also in warmer water, which tends to be fall time. So we're gonna do one can of sea salt, which is a lot of salt, to one can of tuna fish. This very salty concoction is going to bleed out of your lure a lot faster. This does not work very well for tuna balls because the mesh won't hold it. But inside a rotating bait, it's going to bleed it out. You're going to want to rebait every 15 to 20 minutes. As far as scents go, I like to put our krill scent, the krill formula, again with the same measurements as I did in the last batch. One tablespoon of krill. And 
And then we're going to put in our garlic formula, one tablespoon of garlic. And mix that all up. And as you can see, that's going to be a very, very grainy tuna concoction. As you can see, it's nice and grainy, and that's and that is one of my favorite fall concoctions that works for trolling inside the rotating lures is, uh, is a real grainy garlic krill scented tuna fish. Let's talk about number three. Number three is a little different. Number three takes tuna in water. This is a chicken in the sea in water. What the water does is it's going to make for a little um, kind of drier, hard tuna. And this tuna is going to be a lot better for wrapping on plugs. But also what the water to base tuna does is it'll actually pull in the scent really, really well and hold it in for wrapping on the bottom of a plug. So we're going to open up that tuna in water, drain it just like you're making a sandwich. And as this comes out of here, you're going to see it's a lot drier than the tuna and oil. You can see how dry that is compared to the tuna and oil. Now, let's take a tablespoon of sea salt, one tablespoon per can, stick that in. And let's do a, one of my favorite trio concoctions. We're going to do a sand shrimp, a salmon formula, along with the garlic. So you're going to have a little garlic anise shrimp smell to this. So sand shrimp, I keep all equal parts, tablespoon. Salmon scent, tablespoon, and the garlic scent, tablespoon. Mix all that up. Now, this concoction is going to wrap really well on your maglips or flatfish. It's a little wetter, but because we use the tuna and water, you'll be able to take that wrapping thread and wrap that on there very, very nicely. Start from the bottom, use your fingers, make sure your hook's out of the way. Couple half hitches. And you got a tuna wrapped plug. Tuna's messy, but is super effective. 